I didn't realize you were out of there. That's right. I'm um, sorry, I just don't do it again. You okay there? I nearly wasn't. <laughs> Fair enough. I'm trying to come up with new places to film in the house. <laughs> I'm trying to get creative around the house. It's, it's only a matter of time before there's one in the bathroom, you know, sitting in the bath. Saying. <laughs> That's a story for another time. Discover Music and I. Welcome to another episode of Discover Music NI, a new music podcast bringing you the latest music from Northern Ireland. Uh, my name's Corky. With me, as always, is my co-host Kendo. Kendo, say hello to the people. Hello, people. How are you doing, Corks? Not too bad. Very well done. That, that's, that's a nice hello to the people. Well played. Um, so, yes, we're bringing some music. Kendo, tell us what we're playing this evening. Uh, this evening we have lined up, we're going to bring you some music from Fruity, from Daryl Ball. Uh, we also have tunes from Review and M. Bacadero. That's easy to say. Say it again. Um, <laughs> M. Bacadero. Well done. I'm sticking with that one. No more pronunciations. Uh, we also have a guest in this evening, which will be Gav Kelly. Um, so we're looking forward to hearing some music from him as well. Excellent. Good. A fantastic musician. Um, again, somebody we both know. To a certain extent uh, yeah indeed so indeed good guy good guy so yeah looking forward to getting a chat with him later on as well <clears throat> excellent good stuff um right we'll kick off then with our first tune for the evening kendo what have we got lined up and, uh let's see tonight uh we are going to start with fruity and a song called not quite exceptional excellent Exceptional. It's a fresh, super smile, spit, following you. 
so we had Fruity there with Not Quite Exceptional and followed up with a song from Daryl Ball, Everyday People. Daryl is a singer-songwriter from Balamina. Don't get too many of those. And uh, I think we have our guest is getting warmed up there uh, with a few beers in the green room. So, Corks, you want to get him in there? And here comes our guest this evening is Gavin Kelly. Gavin, good evening. Welcome. Hey, what's the crack? Yes, Gavin. Oh, good, good lads. How are you? Doing all right. How's, how's things? Not too bad. All good. H- hanging good, in there. Good. Hanging in. Good, good. Same as that. Uh, first of all, thanks for joining us on the, the, the podcast this evening. Um, we're looking forward, to, looking forward to playing some of your music. If you could just tell us a wee bit about yourself, first of all. Um, do a bit of a songwriting, a bit of singing, a bit of this, that and the other. Um been doing the circuit for a while, between whether it's solo or geos or bands and stuff, quite a few years. Uh, most of my life, really. I'm in and out of different acts and stuff. But flying solo these days, um, trying to get some, trying to get an album out this year and uh, trying to get as much work done as possible in, this, in these lockdown times, you know. Yes, this is Keep it. Keep busy. So it's yeah. been stuck in the studio, just writing and wrecking my own head and just liking my own songs, that sort of way, you know. But Comes with the territory. Yes. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> one would stick and you go, yeah, that's okay. I might just put that out. That's, uh, that's, and that's new material. Yeah. Excellent. That, that's what I'm about, don't I? Between that and some videography and photography and stuff. Trying to keep busy. Very good, very good. I keep mean, yourself we're... occupied with all sorts of media then? Aye, a bit of media junkie. It's, uh, it's whether I'm I love creating stuff, just if I'm, I do a bit of drawing as well, if I'm drawing something, taking a photograph, making a video, or a songwriting, recordings. If I'm creating something, I'm happy enough, you know. Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. Best way to be, definitely. Um, so what we're going to do is going to uh, play one of your songs, first of all, this evening, and then we'll chat a little Ooh. bit about the music. We'll chat a little bit more about... Um, as I say, obviously your passions and things like that and being creative. Uh, okay. What's the first song you've picked for us this evening? Um, last year I set up uh, like an alter ego <laughs> called Okami, O-K-A-M-I. Um, it was just to sort of put out a wee bit more experimental music, a wee bit more electronic and, as opposed to the guitar tracks. Uh, so it was a song we I did last year called Astronauts. Uh, queued up here, so here we go.
Do you enjoy listening to your own tracks back? No. <laughs> no? <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. No, I do like that. That's, yeah, a, that's, that's a great that's song. It. Yeah, it really is. And the video for that, I, you know, I was watching the video as well earlier. The video was really well done too. I love that video. It was my, uh, it was my niece. I got to star in the video for me. Uh, she really looked, looked, what, what is she, probably about six, seven years age. Was she looked like she really enjoyed being a there's only one person I was going to get for it. I knew I wanted a wee girl, like sort of, like an old 80s, sort of like, like an 80 <clears throat> wee kid in the bike, yes. you know, sort of vibe. Yes. So there was only one person I was going to get. And luckily enough, she just, she, there was no bother there. It's great. Brilliant. Great fun. Excellent. Makes it easier. Uh, ah, it's classy. All one take, man. There was no mess around. Professional already? She only just started? Aye. Ah, <laughs> I guess I like him. Pretty good. I said, no, a great song, as I say. It's, um, I mean, obviously, we've heard some of your music, and it is um, quite a bit different the the other song we're going to play. I was about just trying to sort of experiment, because I, I come from a background of um, a lot of different genres, uh, whether it could be dance music or um, rock music. There's a bit of everything in there, so I just wanted to... Yeah. I, don't want to be, I don't like being limited to one yes. kind of genre of music. So it's nice to just uh, branch it the odd time and experiment mm-hmm. with when you're, when you're saying about um, you're saying about you know different genres and so on, so what would who would you say would be your your biggest influences in on you then? If- Growing up, there would have been in the house. Well, there was always a guitar in the house. There was a good music house in a way, but my folks would have listened to the Eagles and uh, John Prine and stuff like that. I've had a fleet with Mac and all too, and I uh, I love Bruce Springsteen, massive Boss fan. So Boss was a big uh, big influence on me. Um, just in terms of songwriting and performing and stuff, the man's man's a legend, like. Uh-huh. And uh, on the flip side of that, then I would have, have, as I'm sure a lot of people have, went through my sort of rave phase as well. You know, the the, the closest for me would have been the likes of the Prodigy, that sort of stuff. But that I, well, that the... that's that's more like the good music kind of side of it. I it's a Prodigy fan too, and the uh, Daft Punk, Chemical Brothers, Orbital, even. So yeah, that, that's where I get a lot of that um, electronic influence. Yeah, that's the higher that's, caliber side of it. That's that's high caliber. It's, that's stuff you can actually 100%. listen. To. Bang, 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 bang. You know. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Good stuff. Good stuff. What a, what about uh, uh, sort of like gig, gigs that you've been to, or uh, would you say you will go go a good a good and a bad gigs you've been to? Ooh, I was trying to think about this earlier because um, <clears throat> I had a feeling I was going to be asked it, but um, it's hard to narrow down. A favorite gig of this that there's been too many over the years, but uh, Bruce Springsteen's got to be up there at some very high level, uh, top three in a way. And but then again, it's hard to pick from a favorite Bruce Springsteen gig, yes. 
Um, because I went to the Seeker Sessions tour and then I seen him with the uh, mm-hmm. Street Band a few times and then I seen him in Isle of Wight Festival. It was there's so I would say a, a boss gig is something different, man. It's it's three hours of non stop, just feel good goons and him tearing up that, that stage at the age he is, too. It's uh, fire in that way, you know. It's you look at him, just go, That's that's how I want to be there on stage. But have you seen the documentary of him on uh Broadway? No, not yet. No, it's it's incredible. Here, the year before, was it? Uh, two years ago, that was 2018. Uh, I think. Um, it's incredible. It was actually only, it wasn't that long ago I watched. The, the new album I put out at the end of last year, I watched the documentary for it, and it's also very good. And I never realized how much of their stuff is just live recording. You know, they don't do track by track. They just uh, don't get together. He goes into his booth. The drummer's over there, there behind the screens, and all the rest of the guys are just around the room. I did watch... The, they're one of the few bands that do that. Nah. Uh, that, was, that was great. I, I did watch that because I remember being very impressed with... That, that fact alone, that, that I'm sure there's not a lot of bands that do that these days. No. Just the whole re- live recording with everybody there. It's, that was really cool to watch. Uh, great documentary. The, the one in um, Broadway, is it's just him, guitar, piano. Paddy comes on for a wee bit and sings maybe one or two songs. Um, but it's just him. And he talks about the songs as well and, and you know what this song is about when I wrote it and little things like that. But it, it's it, it's about three hours long, and I watched it and it glued to the screen. I just, like, <laughs> I couldn't move. I just took it all on. So the but great Dude, documentary. Eggs man, you just glued it for three years. But that that's why he's got the reputation that he's got. So. Why is the boss? He is. And he is. and on the flip side, the flip side of that, then uh, have you any uh, horror stories of uh, gigs you've attended? Um, or played. I've played the played the horror stories. <laughs> um, no, I don't think I've any bad stories from gigs I've been to. I, I love. I think I've loved every gig I've been to. There's obviously ones that are better than others, but yeah. mm. um, as far as bad gigs, I for the first year then, like years and years ago, um, you know, John Paul does the Johnny Cash tribute. Yeah, Cash. I mean, I used to play. We were very young, like playing. I think it was a cricket club party or something and it's one of those gigs halfway through the guy comes up you get a wee sort of tap you know guys I think we're just going to put the jukebox on you know mm. and you're for fuck's sake what are we doing here <laughs> there's been a, there are a few gigs I got growing up by where you're just you're just trying but you're not playing the right venue or this is not the right crowd yeah um, keep, keep practicing oh, you, need to, you need to have dark days to sort of compared well, to the, the, yeah the, that's it. it's all part of learning your chops, isn't it? You have to right. you have to take the bad and the good hand in hand, well, really. Yeah, it's baptism of fire, man. You gotta go through it. <laughs> there's been a few uh a few gigs that I can't quite remember quite well because there might have been a few too many beers and whatnot. But that... <laughs> That's all part of cutting your teeth. Ah, exactly. But besides that, so, no, nah, nothing too terrible. It's all good. Excellent. Um so we're gonna play another song of yours. What's the second song you have for us then? Did you know what's the name? went blank because um, I just read this yesterday. Uh, oh yeah, so um, it's br- a brand new, brand new song for us. Then. Brand new song. That uh, is new because I'm trying to put. Um, I really want to put an album out this summer. I was going to do it last year, but uh, it's just time got away from me. Um, so I wanted to have something new to bring to this this show here. Um, so I, I started off yesterday just trying to write something. And um, I came up with uh, Tell Me What You Think of the Moon, Excellent. which is, it's based on one, I was with a girl and uh, we were on a day out in like a forest. And she asked me this, we were just sort of getting to know each other and she asked me just the, one of the best questions. And she just came out and says, what, tell me what you think of the moon. And I thought that was one of the coolest questions I've ever, and it really, it stopped me. I didn't know what, to, I didn't know how to respond. Yeah. And uh, when I started writing yesterday, I thought I must write a song about that one question because it was it was one of the best things I've ever been asked. It's just out of the blue. Yeah. Not sort of what yeah, do you do or what's what's happening in the world, just what do you think of the moon? That's yeah. really cool. So anyway, I'm, I'm gonna try and put this out um hopefully in the next few weeks. It's just recorded. I just finished recording it today. Um brilliant. So hopefully I'll get it out there soon. Excellent. You know what this means, Courtney? 
This means that Gav has one-upped Gary Elliott. So not only has Gary brought us an exclusive track, Gav has done this track exclusively for the show. For for the show, he's right. Yeah. So <laughs> hopefully, hopefully Gary's listening and we can tell him that Gav has just one-upped him. <laughs> and then John, down the gauntlet. <laughs> good stuff. Um, no worries, we'll we'll play it for you now. This is called Tell Me What You Think of the Moon. about my life and what I do in my spare time You could have quizzed me on my past and the kind of car I drive about the weather or just where I want to be You could have asked about the future and what it means for you and me But you asked me something Tell me what you think of the moon Does it bring a memory back or two? Does it turn the tide when you turn?
What a beautiful song that, Gav. Cheers, man. Showed it to you. Uh, that was for Victoria for asking me the greatest question I've ever been asked. Well played, Victoria. Well played. Yeah. <laughs> Great inspiration there. That really was, was yeah. Really good tune there. Cheers, guys. It's uh, and something I, I would ask people quite often is about <clears throat> playing the instrumentation. Like you played all that yourself. You didn't have somebody come in and no. Um trying to do everything myself on it's, it's it's well it's nice to be able to do that so i've got well i've got more into the keyboard the piano i got myself a nice piano last year um so i'm getting more into keys and it's it's nice playing a bit of piano all the time and uh, guitars and stuff that's you know what that even before covid times i wouldn't have got anybody else in anyway because it i don't think i'd be easy to work with <laughs> i think i'm a, a wee bit a perfectionist like as a lot of people probably would be um at least if it's if something goes wrong and it's your own fault, you know. Yeah. You know, you know it's, how to... it, it's one of those things where you have an idea in your head. This is how the song goes. Yeah. And and that's it. You know, you, you've taken your time. You've crafted it in the back of your mind. You've played a mm. couple of guitar chords, melody, worked out and all that kind of stuff. And somebody could come in and just play like, bleh, just this horrible yeah. thing over the top of it. Then you have to have that conversation of, I didn't like what you done there. So yeah. you're not using that. Um, and there's better players there's way better players than me I, I'm not a great uh, finger picking for guitar and stuff I'm, I'm not an intricate guitar player I'm not a pianist by any means but I do enough to get done what I want to write yeah, but, uh, yeah. So yeah. certainly put it, you put it well together there after we, after yeah. we said like. <laughs> definitely and it's one of the things that we're trying to promote as well because it's not just about there being great songs out there but there also being great musicians you know <laughs> Like yourself, you know, you're a multi instrumentalist. Same too with Gary Elliott that, that we held on a few weeks back. Like, you know, he played everything himself as Gary well. Does all, he does, I, I, he does all yeah. his own. Yeah. Uh, and, and there's so many people like yourselves out there. And, uh, you know, as, as we've mentioned before, we don't feel that the people are getting enough of a stage to get the attention. You know, we can promote through your own YouTube and Facebook and all that. But, uh, there's nowhere where everything comes together, and that's one of the things we're trying to promote and trying to push forward. Hopefully, you know, uh, there's well. there's only so many times you can send stuff away to people and not get replies, and so you can you can try your best and to send yeah. to you, like radio stations or the different wee shows and whatnot. But yeah, it's hard work, hey. It's, and there's when there is a lack of platforms out there for people, it's, it's tough. Yeah. It, it's one of those things too where it te- you know you could sit and make all this music at home by yourself and nobody could ever hear it. And that might be okay. It takes a lot of sort of a lot of courage to say, do you know what? This is good enough now that I want other people to hear it. So mm. you're, you're kind of going out in the limb a little bit and doing that as well. And as you say, you know, you might get a dozen people that come back, you know, maybe 50 people, 100 people come back and say, that song was great. The likes of that song that we just played there now, tell me what you think of the moon. I mean, I listened to it earlier today and I didn't know the story behind it. And mm. that story, like you're asking you the question, completely changes the song for me. And it gives it so uh, much more depth and so much more meaning to it as well. Um, so as I said, putting yourself out there and then, you know, a hundred people are coming back and say, I've really enjoyed this song. It meant X, Y, Z to me. But as you say, you see people in on TikTok and they're getting like 10 million views for the stupidest things. The stupidest stuff, and it blows my mind. I mean, it's good crack and all, but it's just a weird, weird time for being a, yeah. an artist or trying to create. Yeah. Because anybody can just pick up their phone, scream and do it for ten seconds, and that'll go viral, you know. So, something else we did just want to touch on as well. Um, you mentioned earlier that you, you do a lot of other media. It's not just music. You do video and, and photography and drawing and things like that. Um, obviously, you and I know each other. We've worked a little bit together a few years back yeah. um tell us a little bit about your video work for that i would know you from first of all tell us a little bit about that um well i've always done um, photography well not not to say always um the past, probably the past 10 years got into photography and videography sort of followed that it's, it's a natural sort of fit if you're a photographer you know what a good shot is it works in videography as well you know how to set up a nice shot i just say uh, that started Maybe doing um, the Audrey music video here and there, uh, business videos for around the town, things like that. But uh, the last few years, got into doing uh, sort of more professional looking music videos. Um, and I do my own videos now as well, which is easier said than done when you, you live alone and it's just you're you're the only <laughs> you're the only artist like so you have to set up the cameras and sort of 
almost direct yourself when you're going back and forth. That's not. It's far easier shooting for somebody else because you can just be behind the camera, say, "Right, cool, you stand here, stand yeah. here, do this." Can I ask? Uh, there was a band that you used to be in uh, not so long ago, and there was a music video, and I think it was done in a bar. Was that was that you directed that? Um, you know the one I'm referring to. I didn't want to. I didn't want. I didn't really want to talk about the band name in case you didn't want to talk about it. But <laughs> no, hundred percent. That's grand. Um, would that been our cover of Copperhead Road? No, I can't, I honestly can't remember the name of the song. I know that uh, Martin Gallon was in the video as well. Ah, uh, that was Copperhead Road. We did a version of Steve Irish Copperhead Road. That was in the uh, Farmers. Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Was that was that you directed that one? I was made at that day. Uh, uh, no, I, I thought it was. That I was hoping it was because it, 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 it's it's cla- it's a class one. It like it looks really it looks crack. the part. That's good crack work on that day. So um, we asked you uh, also to recommend uh, an artist from Northern Ireland, and uh, you've uh, you've recommended uh, a, a friend from the town. Let's say. I'm trying to represent Strabane, you know, I'm trying to oh, the, the Strabane massive. <laughs> <laughs> so you've gone you've gone for a little bit of a curveball this time. I just try to mix things up. Um Danny Houston does a, a lot of rap and R and B stuff. He's um he's been releasing he's he's flat out. I've never seen a man release as many albums and EPs and singles. So um yeah, I thought I'd give Danny a shout and I well, he goes under the name uh, HC Baby on Spotify and all that jazz so uh, we'll, go, we'll go for a track from Danny Danny Houston from the town Hit you baby boy Small town dreaming big man I made it, made it So many years I put into this rap game But I never thought that I would ever have fame nah. Everybody telling me that I would get my time my Let's be with have it, I just happened to get same. get same So after 13, my time has just begun uh. My first official album, it went straight to number one. number one And from then it didn't stop Every record I put out, it went straight to the top, to the top. I left my old life behind, started getting money yeah. After parties with the stars, man, it's fucking funny Ooh. I'm loving life, man, make no mistake Nah. On my left is J. Cole, on my right is Drake huh. The kid from Strabane in a foreign location Now they talk about the group and I'm in that conversation uh. Everybody wanna be the greatest Nobody wanna leave your nameless Who's the best? I can hear the bit I'm just the greatest that never made it Everybody wanna be the greatest Nobody wanna leave your nameless Who's the best? I can hear the bit I'm just the greatest that never made it. Uh, I went from open in the headlining. headlining. I tour the world every night a different bed laying. A different hotel, another different town. Uh, another gig, another soul out crowd. Uh, I'll be many places, but there's nowhere like home. So every time I'm on tour, I do like four different shows. Five. Back to back, man, in Belfast and Dublin. Secret shoes in my hometown, get them jumping. Jumping. Five. That's always been a vision. Can't explain the feeling when I bring it to fruition. Nah. All I know is just the shit that makes legends To be the best I ever do, it's what I'm pledging Greatest From Japan to Japan and back I got fans everywhere, every land and fact uh. People from everywhere come together for this music yeah. Without my fans, I'm nothing, they're the reason that I do it uh. Everybody wanna be the greatest Nobody wanna leave your nameless Who's the best, I can hear the bit I'm just the greatest that never made it Everybody wanna be the greatest Nobody wanna leave me nameless Who's the best? I can hear the beat I'm just the greatest that never made it uh, If you want it, you can get it I've been on this journey so long I won't forget it One day I'm walking around wearing beats by Dre Next day I'm walking around getting beats by Dre It's fucked up, fucked up. But when I really knew I made it The day I made a track with the verse from the greatest yeah. Unreleased vocals of Tupac and my song Head C featuring Tupac, my god, my god. Where the fuck do I go from there? I made a track with Pac, I don't fucking care now. Cause if I die right now at least I know I've done it all but until I go, I keep on blowing down these walls Heads to the sea, from the land of green I went from the small town on to the big screens big The screen. shit got me feeling like B.I.G Cause heads he woke up and it was all a dream damn, damn. Everybody wanna be the greatest Nobody wanna leave your nameless Who's the best? I can hear the bit I'm just the greatest 
that never miss Everybody wanna be the greatest Nobody wanna leave the nameless Who's the best I can hear the beating I'm just the greatest that never miss That's the tune I was talking about. <laughs> that's a cool track, man. Oh, it is, great. isn't it? Definitely. Anyway, yeah, that's, that's a cracking tune. Something a wee bit different from what we have been playing. Um, it's great to have that diversity as well. Um, mm. But he, yeah, as you say, he's releasing stuff constantly. Ah, it's bad out, man. Uh, I don't think we were expecting that. So we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no, definitely not. Um, but yeah, as, as you guys were saying, you know, obviously he's releasing a lot of material. A lot of it's really good. <clears throat> So that is, is. And for anybody listening as well, we highly recommend checking it out. The songs are great, the music's great, the hooks are great. The hooks just kind of you listen to one, and, and you don't want to stop. You want to listen to the next one, and, and just you end up playing the whole album. Hopefully, if it gets out gigging again, uh, I highly recommend checking Danny Hood out. It's it's a great gig. Like see a few beers and him with all his energy and stuff. It's class crack. Uh, he's he's like he's a lively boy, isn't he? Uh, but um, thanks very much, Gavin. Appreciate you uh, t- taking part with us. Um, it's been good having you on. Really an interesting stuff to hear about you. Just all those yeah. all those facets that you have there with your photography and everything else. Your oh, <coughs> one man media package. Yeah, <laughs> right, you have to keep busy doing something these days, like. Hundred well percent. Yeah. Uh, just that as well. Um, obviously, we'll be adding all your social media links in the description as well added to that you also do a Saturday night Facebook live um, I, I started that up again about a month ago month and a half um, Saturday songbook yes uh, I see a couple of hours on Saturday nights 8 o'clock on the uh, on my Facebook page Gavin Kelly Music I, I, I watched it a couple of weeks ago very I good. see a few times in there uh, very good man. very good uh, very, six. very good. And rather than sitting watching the TV on a Saturday night, it's definitely good to have you know some live music because it was obviously yeah. able to cast it on the TV then instead. It makes it so much it makes it much better too. <clears throat> it it kind of f- fills that gap a little bit too of not being able to go see in a bar. You know, mm. you, know you, you, you anybody could record and, and make perfect videos and all kind of, uh, and they could spend months doing it and then put it on line for people who watch it but the fact that you're doing it live then still has a bit of that sort of normal normality for us and i suppose probably for you as well because you're playing a live gig doing that but at home obviously you know what I mean? it's exactly. that kind of vibe. going out to a gig but you can't go out that's ah, that's exactly it. it's the best and we can do and yeah, i 100%. i fully encourage all heckling if anybody's on your facebook heckling and they blame me that's okay i'll take that <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Corky said. Corky said, go heckle Gav Kelly. No! <laughs> um, yeah, Gav, thanks again. And uh, we will be in touch. No bother at all. Thanks very much again. Cool. Cheers, guys. Good Appreciate cheers. it. See you later, Gav. Good luck. Bye. Bye-bye. Cool. Happy days. Great guy. Yeah, he's a really nice guy now. Really nice guy. So that was Gavin Kelly with us there uh, this evening as our special guest. Uh, some great songs and uh, his recommendation there. Just a little bit of a curveball from what we have been playing, a bit of hip-hop, uh, lighten the mood. Um, so and now we're going to play a two-piece roots band from Belfast called Review and Ain't In It For Our Health. Still a queen, my kingdom a bottle marked desolate scene.
Excellent. And that was Review with Ain't In It For Our Health. That's another great song. So it is there. Um, it's very much um, got a very dirty, gritty folk vibe to it. Very much, uh, I think, very much like the Black Keys. Um, so it is a great song. Great song. Definitely check them out. Um, coming up in the next episode, we have more music from Ruse, Jealous of the Birds, Arvo Party and Hunk Papa. Um, don't forget you can like and subscribe keep up to date with all the latest videos we release and all the links for all the artists we featured this evening will be in the description below um, but here comes our final song for the evening and this is ember cadero and this is chasing you around <laughs>
Thanks for tuning in to our podcast, Discover Music and I. If you don't mind, like, share, subscribe, ding the bell and comment and tell all your friends. Thank you very much. Cheers.